With two solo records released to glowing reviews and now a full-length album, Affinity is about to drop. At only 25, he is one of the country's most promising composers. Welcome to the cafe, Levi Patel. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. It's lovely to be here. Surrounded um, by musical talent, huh? Yeah, it's been a great yeah. show today, hasn't nice. it? How did you get into composing? Was it your love of playing? I mean, how did it all start? Well, I had a band through high school where I was a guitarist and songwriter. And then towards the end, I started introducing more and more instrumental interludes. And they kind of got longer and longer. And I realized that that's really what I love doing. And the band drifted, so. And the rest of the band are going, oh, come on, Levi. <laughs> when are we going to get back together and start singing again? And you're going, hang on. Did you, do this, did you do this Funk Free Rock Quest? Yeah, yeah, we did yeah, that a couple of times. Yeah. yeah, nice. And now you've gone on to have a thriving career. Uh, and I noticed that when I listen to your music too, you, it's interesting how it's developed. You like mixing birds and rain and a few sounds of nature. So, you know, how do you start coming up with even where to start composing a track? Uh, a lot of my music's quite heavily layered so I'll start with something really simple and then refine it and add to it, add to it some more, take something away. So I feel like it's quite an organic process. When do you know when to stop tweaking things? Because I can imagine <laughs> that you could just keep going and it's, going and going. It's a dangerous track, yeah, yeah, very dangerous. Uh, typically I just book in with a mastering engineer which is the, the final step of the process. So once that's done, there's no going back. You can't then, say just one more bird call and yeah, everything. And then just force myself to stop, I've learned. Is it an organic process or do you have to have kind of the mood in your head? Like, do you think of a situation before you compose or do you just start composing? It's hard to say. I'm not writing songs and it's hard to relate it directly to something that I'm feeling, but I'm always inspired. And then I will explore musically and then something will match what I'm feeling. and. And it'll add to it and it'll kind of feed more into that. But your first single from your new album, Mum, since last letters, was actually used in a documentary, wasn't it? Uh, about right. uh, commemorating the victims of the 20, it was 2014, wasn't That's it? Right. The MV Sewol ferry disaster in mm. South Korea. I mean, how did that work? How did that come about? I've been working with the filmmaker Niels Klaus for a few years. He found my music online and we made a promo video for a Korean university. And we worked really well together. And I think our styles matched well. And he's been wanting to make a documentary about the ferry disaster for a few years ever since it happened. So he's a German based in Korea. Yeah, that's and right. And you're based in New Zealand. Yeah. And yeah. you make this, <laughs> this thing together. That's right, yeah. Thank God for the internet. No, no, and it works well too. I mean, is that the ultimate aim as a composer? You know, you've got this documentary at the moment. Would you like to be in a, you know, big movie one day? Was that the aim? Yeah, I think so. I'm kind of hoping to explore both. Nice. Because I love presenting whatever I'm feeling as my own music, but also there's something nice about trying to enhance the moods that are already there in a film. And exactly. what can you play? Uh, I can play piano and guitar are probably my main instruments. And have you had any, any training or is it like a just a process that you've created yourself, the, the composing? I've just worked it out myself and put a lot of, a lot of time into it. Wow. Kind of come up with my own methods. And how are you funding all of this? Is it just through chipping away and getting the odd job here or there? Have you had any scholarships? Is the family helping you out? Because clearly uh, you've gone on to do some amazing things, but it all costs money to start off, doesn't it? Yeah, well, my dad was kind enough to donate a room of the house. <laughs> Go, Dad! Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, cool. That's all you need yeah, in space. So I worked out how to, a lot of the recordings on Affinity I did myself in mixing. So, yeah, I've just kind of chipped away at it. Oh, and recently excellent. I've been working with a record label, Marigold Music. Nice. So that helps. Nice. Okay, well Very I'm exciting. really pleased I've met a composer because I haven't <laughs> met any composers before. Lots of singers, but never a composer. So yeah. thank you. It's been a pleasure having you here. Oh, uh, Levi's you. album Affinity is out April 7th through Marigold Records and you'll be able to see him perform it live at the Auckland Art Gallery on Saturday the 8th. For more details, check out his website, levipatel.com.